Welcome to Bible Learners Corner. We thank you for joining us in today's uh, discussion. We need to know that God gives us his word to live by and we need to hear God's voice. We need to accept God's word of truth and as we need to understand what we are reading we must seek the guiding of the Holy Spirit who is our master our teacher and with the guiding of the Holy Spirit we need to understand what the Word of God is saying God sends his word for a purpose and the word cannot return to him void but it has to accomplish the purpose for which he has sent it as we know that the holy spirit came to this world to convict the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment the Holy Spirit, he is our helper. We need to accept the Holy Spirit as the master of our house. God has allowed things to appear in the natural and all things that come in the natural, they are earthly they are temporary and these are things which are a shadow they are a copy of things in the supernatural they are a copy of things in the spiritual god gives us the natural earthly temporary things so as to help us learn and understand that there are also corresponding spiritual heavenly things that are eternal they are real we've had a discussion talking of uh, comparing things in the natural with things in the supernatural there are things that have not appeared in the natural but they already are existing in the supernatural and therefore when we see things appearing in the natural it means that they are coming from their source, which is in the supernatural. And therefore, we need to seek to find out the things, the root where these things are coming from that is in the supernatural. And when we go to the supernatural, we see the real things, things which are eternal. As we have said, God gives us natural, earthly, temporary things so as to help us learn, to help us understand that there are also corresponding things in the spiritual, in the supernatural. These are things which are heavenly, and these things are eternal just as there are attacks in the earthly natural realm these things appear because there are things already taking place in the supernatural and this is where these things are invisible unless they are allowed to appear in the natural they could be happening in the supernatural and only god knows when and why he allows those things to appear in the natural and these are things to remind us of what god has allowed or what god has told us to listen to 
We therefore need to seek the guiding of the Holy Spirit to help us understand the things that we are seeing that are appearing here in the natural and these things are to remind us of whatever God wants us to learn, whatever things God wants us to understand. Thank you, Brother Isaac Ototo Nyamwea, for taking time listening to today's uh, discussion. As we always have said, God has allowed things to appear in the natural, and all things that come in the natural, they are earthly, they are temporary, and these are things which are a shadow. They are a copy of things in the supernatural. They are a copy of things in the spiritual. One thing we need to understand is that unless someone seeks the guiding of the Holy Spirit, who is our master, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, our counselor, no one can understand what the Word of God is saying. The Holy Spirit is our helper. He is our comforter and forms the link between humanity and our God. Baptism in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is why we need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit to be led after we become filled by the Holy Spirit in order to have communion to God and with God in heaven through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With the help and guiding of the Holy Spirit, we can live and walk according to God's word. As we have shared the messages talking of Jesus Christ being the narrow way that we need to walk through, we have to be given guiding by our helper, the Holy Spirit, and by walking through the narrow way, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Word of God, we shall be led to that place where God wants us all to be, that is, in God's kingdom that is real, God's kingdom that is heavenly. We need to understand that man was fearfully and wonderfully made. We need to understand how humanity was designed to conform to the Word of God, to live by the Word of God. The Bible says, Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We ask you to listen to the messages the messages that we have already shared, understanding things beyond the natural. All these are available on the Bible Learners uh, Ministries uh, main websites, www.biblelearnersministries.org and also www.biblelearnerscorner.org Messages already published 
shared here on the Bible Learners Seminaries YouTube channel. Stay blessed and shalom. Mm -hmm.